With the first being, why would you put property into a linked account? To mortgage payments are usually your your largest biggest largest cost when it comes to running the property portfolio. And the property gurus of the internet claim that everyone needs a linked company because of section 24. But to understand why you'd want to put property in a linked company, you first need to understand the impact of section 24 on you personally. So what are the implications of section 24? Section 24 was phased in over a four year period and it was originally brought in in 2017. So landlords holding property in their personal name used to be able to deduct the full cost of their mortgage interest against their rental income and then pay tax on their rental profits. However, Section 24 has made it where landlords holding property in their personal name are no longer able to deduct the full cost of their mortgage interest and instead they get a 20% tax credit to offset against their tax liability. So when we look at a basic rate taxpayer who's paying tax at 20%, they're effectively getting all of their mortgage interest as a cost to deduct against their rental profits. However, the question is, if you're growing a property portfolio, how many properties will it take to become a high rate taxpayer? So once you factor in your other income, it might only take two or three properties. So now when we look at a high rate taxpayer who's paying tax at 40%, but again, can only deduct 20% of their tax, of their mortgage interest against their tax liability. Well, now they're only getting half their mortgage interest as a cost to deduct. And if your mortgage interest costs have shot up over the last few years, some will find that they're paying tax, despite not actually making any real profit. And this is what causes everyone to then think that they need a limited company.